Hi everyone, so here we are, we're back for another episode of In the Garden. He's... What? <laughs> What's what? your name? Hey, Mark. Oh, Mark. Yeah. I'm Nicola. So if you're... you haven't ever been to our channel before, hello. Talking about... We're talking about our garden in the South Burnett. Oh, um... That's what we're talking about. <laughs> and our path to partial self-sufficiency. Uh, oh, it's almost Easter. That it is, very quickly coming upon us. We have a family project we're going to do. Mm -hmm. We're going to build a garden bed. Well, actually two. Yep, and some old colourbond sheets. There was um, half a dozen colourbond sheets left over from when we put the shed up. So, anger grinders and a whole raft of fun stuff. You better go and dig it out of the shed. It has been used for a long time. <laughs> uh, what else have we got to do? Oh, there's... Um... Well, we've still got plenty of... We'll see if we can get some... Um, birds and there's bits and bobs uh the wobblies and the kangaroos are coming back so there's hopefully get some photos of those kicking about need to do some planting in the garden and of course we need to come by some new uh plants and to put in our new garden bed and our sulfur cr cr crested cockatoos oh, they're, have struck naughty. they're so. really naughty we're gonna have to do something about them no. and i don't mean mean to the cockatoos but we're gonna have to net stuff they were the ones who got the corn, and now they got the... They're into his chilies. No, are well, you other ones? They're into everything. The shallots? Leeks. Leeks. I knew that. Anyway, so welcome aboard the new um, episode. Uh, but if you actually have a minute and you're feeling inclined, please like our channel. Um, give our video a thumbs up leave a comment. Um, we do love to, to chat with people. Uh, don't forget the notification bell so that you always know when there's a new episode coming up. And I suppose we better go and get into it. Adieu, till we meet again. So the next job on the list is to put the coffees in. So we've got four there. We're going to try and uh, grow our own coffee and uh, process it and make our own homegrown coffee. Yeah, this is a front garden bed and it's just a lost space. There's some trees and things here. Big old tree. But um, yeah, it just weeds up. Just pulled out a whole swag of bell vine and crawlies and there's some other nasties. What do we got? Mother-in-law's tongue or whatever this thing is? Yeah. Keeps coming back. Which it's a pest. Weed. It's a weed. Um, so yeah, you can see I've knocked it down a couple of times and it's getting back and it's very weedy so we want to use this bed for something other we did put a pecan in he's been struggling anyway, he's hanging in there he's a toppy so uh, we'll see how he goes but yeah no he looks like it the macadamia across um, down there past the big tree he's going really good Hello. Hello. Fancy the other seeing thing, you here. Yeah, fancy that. The other thing that we have that happens here is we've got a big goanna that comes around and Kayla found it the other day and uh, chased it up a tree. Um, but we do have a lot of that sort of wildlife, so um, we need to um, make sure that everything we do is, is planted with a view to the long-term um, safety of, of everyone. The other thing we're going to do is we have an Easter project planned. Yay! Okay, if you actually have a look down by the fence, there's a uh, weed. where the gate is, there's these two big rain trees and they're ugly as, and I want to pull them out. But we actually want to put beds in there and, and run something in there that will be welcoming. We had thought Agapanthus, but we actually don't have any spares. Uh, we might have some next year, but it would be nice to plant that with some um, some flowering winter plants in the short term so uh, over Easter we've got a couple of sheets of colour bond left from when the shed was done and we're going to have a family project where we cut them in half lengthways then we'll form up the beds put some uh, stakes in that we can screw everything onto and then we can fill it up hmm. all right next one you'll see is when the coffee goes in Okay, so this is my um, coffee pot and just as an aside, one of the things that um, we do is uh, keep all the coffee grounds. Now there's different plants and garden soils, I use them in the compost, I've used them in um, the hippiestrums. Apparently like a bit of coffee grain every now and then 
and uh, it doesn't take too much. I've got a dedicated container and each week I keep my coffee grounds and use them in the garden. So uh, recycle, reuse and certainly don't waste. Tea bags, uh, whoop, there's my tea bag, um, nice twinings. Uh, use the same, so I keep, I keep my tea bags and uh, yeah, they make, if nothing else, great compost, but they also help uh, with a whole range of plants. Okay, so I was just watering the pineapples. It's just on six o'clock. I really don't know. Hopefully, you'll be able to see this. It's not good. There is a ton of parrots in the tree. There is a ton of parrots in the tree. And they're having a grand old time eating the date flowers. Now we haven't done uh, much filming for the last few days. We've been doing the South Burnett Training Awards, which is the inaugural training awards for our region. So through our uh, Rotary Satellite Club Sunrise. Um, but anyway, this is... Uh, Part of tonight's dinner, we're rocket lettuce leaves from the garden, so we're doing a bit of a barbecue and an easy dinner. Sometimes, with the very best of intentions, I'm trying to do work, and I have a little visitor, and she comes, and she needs, and she purrs, and her name is Cassandra, and she's my cat, although sometimes she takes to daddy too. Um, but Cassandra came to us um, as an adult cat and um, she's been with us now for three years and as you can see she's very happy in her world so these little breaks are worthwhile quite windy today. We had uh, 14 mil of rain yesterday, which was lovely for early April and Easter, Good Friday. Uh, we have bought ourselves a new angle grinder. I've got an old one, a power one, but this is a battery one. And we've already got a uh, battery drill. Uh, so we're going to put it, we're going to attack some colour bond. Say hello, Charlotte. Hi. Here's the... Um, box and the Ryobi angle grinder and through the magic of television we have it out uh, we have a, comes with a, a grinder highly technical term that grinder cutter stuff I charge you the drill we bought extra so this is 115 so it's only a little fella oh, oh look at that come apart yay instructions always handy read them later and uh, bits and bobs. Highly technical unboxing. And Nicola's not here to tell me I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> so, uh, ooh, that's a. Look at that. What do you reckon that is? Uh, handle. Oh, handle. Yep, yep. I totally knew that. <laughs> that's to add the bits and bobs on. That is an exciting piece of cardboard. And we even have um, complimentary plastic bag, which is pretty nifty. And here it is through the marvels of television. It is now assembled, expertly done after reading the instructions. And have safety glasses, just saying. Uh, and like, all Who directions. safety glasses for you? Yeah, no, it's all good. So I got the cutter on there, got the base on there, got the handle on there. So we totally knew what all those bits were for. And we've got it all sorted out and we're ready to go a cut. Okay, so if you can see Mr. Pitt is digging around in the dirt, Mr. Mark. Um, Hello. The gladioli bulbs have all died off. So, well, mostly. Um, we don't tend to leave them in because we need the garden space. So this is the period of time where we start to lift them. Mostly they're all dead. A couple have come up a bit greener than we would normally like. Um particularly that one you can see in the pot. The reason for that is it had grown into one that had already passed on um, and so they came out together. 
we are going through, we're looking for any bulbs, including the pups that they'll have shot, uh, and collecting them. So they'll go into this tub here. And after uh, we get them to the table, we'll go through and we'll sift and sort, cut the heads off, and so put them into something to, um, to be stored for next year. And he's just lifted the pot on me. Yeah, okay, and here, this is a little baby pup, uh, and it'll obviously grow into one of these larger ones okay. next year. So, being a bit short on uh, fill, what we've decided to do is, oh, you're right, yeah, yeah. start to fill the beds with some wood chip in the bottom, and that'll break down anyway, so that'll be really good. And then we've got a couple of bags of uh, manure, we've got some bags of mi potting mix, and then we've also got some of our mushroom compost left. So that should give the flowers in here a good bed to get started and established in. Okay, so I'm not sure you'd really call us a tropical area, but today, out the front, I plan to plant some pansy, and these are the Swiss giant Lil's Water Blue. So they're a sort of a bluey black, as you can see. I've got a packet of the uh, Giant Ray Mix Asters. Now, it says to plant 18 to 24 degrees. They're not really tropical, but then we're not really a cool climate either. So uh, autumn to winter, and they can go straight in. Um, and if we get a decent uh, crop, we, that should be really pretty. I've also got some hollyhock seeds. Now, I'm... A big lover of hollyhocks and as you can see these are all ones that I harvested the seeds from back in December of 2021 you'll notice I put them all in these little packets and then I put a label on so I know when they do say plant February to December but um the weather here has been strange at best lately um and then we were talking to my mother-in-law last night and she said oh there's going to be another hot snap so uh i'm going to put them in and see how we go and then here the other week when we planted sweet peas and mark said we've got like a few these ones here these are 2019 harvest so again all a home harvest this is the 2021 harvest in there. And then these ones here, I actually didn't put a date on. I would imagine they were probably the end of 2022, but I, I'm just not certain. Anyway, so apparently we're also planting some sweet peas again today. So it should okay, be Okay, so here we are. We have beds. We actually have dianthus and we've got petunias and calabrachia in here we've also put sweet pea seeds some pansy seeds and some hollyhock seeds but actually all in all they've been watered and mulched and then we'll come over here and you'll see the same thing again making sure i don't fall over anything and they're in dappled sunlight now so which is probably really good they'll get an hour or two of sun but they've been watered We'll water them again this afternoon. This bed only has um, sweet pea seeds in it. I didn't put anything else. Uh, just, we've got it finished though. And it looks really good. Um, so here's hoping they'll all grow and be happy. And there's Mr. Pitt. So a couple of weeks ago, or I don't know, maybe two months. Wow. Yeah, we planted these begonias. You saw us actually put them up. They have just gone ahead in leaps and bounds. Actually, the other begonias really like this spot too. Uh, you can see the difference. They're not as straggly or as unloved. My peony has finally died back. The uh, lilies are starting to die back. It looks a bit straggly. And yes, that is a gladiola in the middle of it. Um, the other bed is starting to change colour, so that's a really good sign. That means that they're starting to die back. These beds will need a really good feed um, going into next summer. We're not lifting the lily bulbs. We're actually going to leave them there. Um, there are lots of lily bulbs. And 
and camellia is loaded with bulb, uh, with blooms. So I'm really excited because I, last year I got one and I had to wait a very long time and this year it is just loaded. Now, yes, we need to weed it. We know that. Uh, we'll probably feed the soil a bit too, but right now it's as happy as we've ever seen it. The bird life of Stormhaven. We've got two ducks. They've actually brought their mates with them recently. These two were here when we got here. Uh, so they're wild ducks, as in uh, not domesticated. Uh, but normally, actually lately, that's I'm not sure where the other two buddies are. They've been getting around. There's been four of them getting around on a regular basis. So they're a bit naughty. If they can get in with the galahs into the gardens, they do. So we're going to keep them out. And uh, But they're kind of cute. And this is their home. They just have free range of the whole five acres. This one is our bay tree, bay leaves. So cooking for bay leaves, so fresh bay leaves. Um, he's going along. They get a fair size, the old bay tree. Uh, we've grown him from a baby. And uh, you can see he's actually looking really quite well and healthy and going really quite good. So, yeah, so have you used some of the leaves off of him, dry them out, and they are great in pasta and cooking. All right, just here in our back paddock, we've got Daisy the cow having her um, evening meal. But then if we come back here, and there's a bit of sun, we got, there's a one just hopped off. On the left of screen is a big old male kangaroo, and that's one of his ladies. And, oh, there she is, there's another one. You just can see her there in the bush. Uh, these guys don't come into the yard. The dog keeps them at bay a fair bit, but um, not that they've crossed paths, but they're all a bit wary of each other, which is good. A big old kangaroo, a big male like him, can do a fair amount of damage to a puppy too. If they're not careful, they've got big strong hind legs and you don't get too close. Um, but yeah, these guys have just have so about the other morning. I haven't seen them for ages, but anyway, they're here and about and having a feed and sharing a bit of downtime with Daisy. Okay, it's pretty windy again, second day in a row. It's Easter Sunday, and uh, Chief Engineer Scotty Montgomery on the Starship Garden Prize. <laughs> <laughs> she just had a whoop back to nine, blah, Captain. I cannot give her any more. Um, we've got, uh, what have you got? Annoying birds. Annoying birds. I don't know if you can see it so good. We'll go somewhere else. There's my shadow. My shadow. Very Peter Pan. Um, we haven't tied. It's just a bit windy, but the birds have shredded the leeks a little bit on this one side. <laughs> and the silver beet. And the silver beet. So we got yummy silver beet. Have silver beet for lunch. Have well, we will if we can get some. Roast duck and oh. silver beet. Yum. Look at these and so like the shallots have been here. It's probably, oh there, you can sort of see. The leeks, um, not shallots. Yeah, leeks. Um, yeah, they've, they've just been sitting in here having a grand old feed. And if we walk past the raspberry... We'll go down here, past the chilies and capsicum. We bought uh, one yesterday. It was on special at Bunnings of all places. It's a, a pot black chili. So he's got some little chilies on him and uh, we should be able to keep him for a while. Uh, this one's got more, where are we? More chilies growing, so yeah. And the capsicums are still going. My, my capsicums. Should have called them the Gandhi. But not only have the birds been into the leeks, uh, this is next door's passion fruit bush. It's a banana passion fruit. Banana passion fruit. I was just having a moment. But you can see what they're doing. It's a uh, grey and pink glass, gallery of pink glass. So they're absolutely, so these are the same guys that got the corn. Uh, they're having a grand old time. They just, um, Chewing, there's bits of passion fruit on the ground here, and so they, um, the lavender's yeah, it's struggling since we planted it, but it's getting there. 
Um, we've had to net the cabbages and the brassicas. Yes. So, look at that, look at my cabbage, the isn't it so good? I talk to my cabbage every day and say, grow, yeah. little cabbage, grow. <laughs> Everyone's a critic. So, yeah, so we've had to net them because they shred them as well. Um, yeah, so we're, we're trying to, as much as we can, as they move from one crop to another. The old oh, dragon fruit, throwing in a pot, which we'll put it there anyway. He must have got through to the base of the pot. So he's going like else on fire. The one we put in the ground, he's been very stable and hasn't kicked off. But he's getting green. We have Brussels sprouts to go in too. We do have Brussels sprouts. My absolute all-time favourite vegetable, Brussels sprouts. <laughs> and we have the other dragon fruit here amongst all the grass and weeds. Um, growing quite well and running up the vine. And so hopefully next year we'll have dragon fruit. Now I'm not sure if you can see, but the weather here has changed significantly. Um, instead of the burning hot days, it's really windy. You can see a bit of the gust there. And I won't say it's hot, but it's it's not cold either. It'll probably be mid-20s. Um, but that wind is making things a little bit more difficult than usual. Uh, but today it's Easter Monday. Uh, we've had a big weekend doing stuff in the gardens. We've got one more uh, mast planting to go out the front. Uh, and so, yeah, we're hoping that this wind will die down a little bit soon. Um, but the weather is kind. It's a good day to be planting. Um, it would be better if it was, you know, raining, but it's not. So we'll just wait and see what happens next. Yes, we continue to have more problems. They got in again, as you can see. Um, it's better than it was, so this is certainly helping. But as you can see, every time they get in, they're just tearing my leeks to bit. Uh, on a bright note, we've got spot over here, and I think this is where I'm going to put my Brussels sprouts, right next to the silver beet. Uh, the birds have chomped that too, see, and everywhere that they can push this aside, they are. And getting in underneath they are naughty birds okay so here we are we're at the last of my garden beds that's the hyacinth bed and we've got the lavenders this one here is going to have uh, the dutch irises so there's actually 41 bulbs in there got them just before easter they're ready to go in uh they will look really lovely apparently they're um uh they're like a nice healthy soil so that's what they're getting so i guess onwards and upwards hi everyone so it's um yeah the end of another video we've uh, we're achieving a lot so what have we been up to lots so <sighs> we've achieved lots we've done lots we've got oh, the new garden in place lots. We harvest some lettuce, rocket, well, rocket, is rocket's lettuce. Yeah, isn't rocket it? is a sort of lettuce. We've had, uh, we've got some coffee grounds and we showed you uh, keeping our own coffee grounds, which is fairly basic, but still good. We uh, did. Hang on, we're, we're being attacked here. Hang we on, I'll just. We have puppies. Here yes. we go. We yeah. have puppies. Yep. <laughs> We um, we, uh, oh, we've started um, proofing, winter proofing our rose gardens. Yep. We put some um, compost down for them. So hopefully that will help with um, uh, starting to feed the soil. Uh, we've yet to deadhead, we've yet to compost, uh, but we do have the other roses sitting in place ready to uh, start digging the holes once everything starts to cool down a bit. Yep, we've got bay leaf, uh... We bought a new angle grinder. I think uh, at the beginning of this one, we said we had to go and dig the old one out of the shed. We found the old one, but it, it's... Um, it's old. It's old. Anyway, so we bought a little uh, battery one that goes with Nicola's drill. Um, uh, uh, Ryobi. Ryobi. Yeah, a yes. little Ryobi. Yeah. And we discovered that the rechargeable batteries uh, last really well on the drill. But when you're doing heavy angle grinding work, not so good. <laughs> um... What else? Oh, animals. Mm -hmm. We've got all sorts of animals, native animal movement to show you. Mm -hmm. What else? Uh, ducks, yeah. Uh, you, ducks, birds and things, some birds. We've got um, trying to 
the birds of Stormhaven have got such a variety, uh, but uh, they also are into the garden big time. They do like the Eating your green stuff. Oh, my leeks. Mm. So we've been netting stuff as well. So that just gives you a bit of a brief overview. Remember, um, if you haven't had the opportunity yet, please take a moment and subscribe to our channel. And remember to like it and to click the notification bell. And if you're on your phone, remember to turn it on to all so that you always know when there's a new video out. Yep. And that's it from us. So we'll see you in a fortnight. Oh, and this time we might even be on a cruise. Yeah, well, we, we may, be, may be on time or not on time mm. because we're going paddling in the ocean. Yay. Mm. So we'll see you again soon. Bye. Hope everyone had a lovely Easter. Bye. Ooh.